Hi there, what's up? My name is Jack and I'm an artist, cartoonist and an animator. Welcome to Jack Learns Animation. Today we will learn about how to deal with one specific challenge that 2D cartoonists and animators face in Blender. And there is a very easy way to deal with it. So let's get started. Hi there, welcome back. Um, you can see my blender and you can see one cartoon. This is a boy waving hand with a smile on his face. Okay. Now, this is very basic cartoon as it is. Uh, this is to uh, demonstrate one specific challenge. I will animate the cartoon in the dope sheet and you see this is how it works and uh, you see the boy um, you know waving his hand and you know raising his arm a little bit up i am playing it in loop so this is it now i have just added three bones to it i will just let the bones be visible here they are and i have moved them and uh, in pose mode and uh, given uh, random keyframes so that you know this gives an you know a uh, wavy hand right now the challenge is when you draw in 2d especially with line arts when you add bones to it and try and animate it pulls specific vertices of those strokes or the lines and uh, the weight of the bone or the influence of the bone is not evenly spread or it's not it's not spread where it's supposed to be right so what happens uh, it will pull some part of the hand or some part of the object and they will be stretched they will be pulled and it will look ugly you know and and it will look un unnecessary we can avoid that and to demonstrate the problem let me open another blender file let me drag it from the other screen it's coming away here it is okay let's give it full screen i will draw just the hand right and i will add three bones uh, this is just for the demonstration purpose and i will show you how i actually went around and i will demonstrate how i dealt with it all right let's draw a hand first This is the bicep. This part is the elbow. So this is our cartoon head and i drew it in draw mode obviously let me go to object mode go to add and then add a, a single bone from armature so what we will do we will press r and rotate the bone like this press g and move it here press r again rotate further and move it up a little bit here and i go to edit mode from the top left from this point i extrude the bone for the forearm and again extrude further all the way till the so-called middle finger right here now our bone these are the default names we can see the bones when we go to the object data we'll get there soon right now let's come back to object mode one more time select the 
object which is the hand and then shift select the bones set up bones control p on my keyboard and we are just parenting the hand to the bones and we are selecting with automatic weights right here when you parent bones with the object any part of the body for that matter you need to first select the part of the body and then select the bones because bones are the master in this case bones are the parents so the hand will follow when the bones are moved right so that's how it works so first the hand or first the cartoon object and then the bones now i go to again on top left i go to pose mode click on this last bone of the hand go to rotate and give it a rotation you see you see the little finger getting pulled stretched here again getting deformed very badly we don't want this similarly probably here as well we'll see something like that you see here the little finger getting stretched beyond recognition right we do not want that so how can we deal with it so let's come back to object mode select the object which is the hand on the right you see this on the right you see this icon called data this is object data properties right i click on that i scroll my mouse wheel and here you see towards the bottom right it says vertex groups right now these are the three bones that we have created bone then bone zero bone dot zero zero one bone dot zero zero two you can rename the bones when you have a complex cartoon it is good to rename the bone so that you do not you know mess with the wrong bone or wrong part of the body right so to avoid the deformation or the unnecessary stretch of some part of the cartoon what we will do this is bone 002 which is the last bone while we have selected it in the vertex group we'll go to weight paint here here see now you see something some colorful things here where you have maximum weight which is the middle finger it's completely red and then slowly it turns you know yellow and maybe a little bit of green and then purplish blue and so on and so forth when with weight paint and with weight of one which is maximum we draw like this hover your mouse drag it along the lines paint it like this so we have given weight to the entire hand right to see if it works well we go to object mode then again click on the bone then go to pose mode move the hand you see here it's moving perfectly now see almost perfectly i mean we can still make it a little better but this is this serves the purpose of this demonstration um even if it's 2d drawing the vertices when they're weight painted it's moving along along the bone very well and let's see when we move the forearm it's more or less good a little bit of crease un unnatural crease coming to the right let's see if we can deal with that so again go to object mode this will be we will select the object and in the vertex group the forearm was bone dot zero zero one and the hand is bone dot zero zero two right so we go to vertex paint again on the top left and see the crease that we saw there there is some influence 
Now we would like to remove the influence. How do we do this? On the top, straight top, we see this weight here. It is 1.0. What we will do is just remove the weight altogether. And again, like we did when we did the weight painting, we'll run our mouse like so, remove the weight from it. Similarly, from under the bicep, the tricep. Now let's see if it works. Go to object mode, select the forearm bone. Now go to pose mode, try and move it and see the crease is gone. See the crease is gone from the bicep. So this is how it should be done. Um, again, when you go back to this, and this also we did weight painted and I will show you where exactly we did the painting weight painting all right so we are in object select the object and here the object data properties on the right of my screen I click on this again there are three bones the first bone is the bicep bone which is just bone and the second is forearm and the third is bone.002 which is the hand right now when i click on bone 002 which is the hand and i go on top of the screen again select weight paint and see what we did so the entire hand is weight painted very well all the vertices are weighted equally so that when the bone pulls the hand waves the hand it doesn't pull some specific vertices it pulls all the vertices as we want it right so there's no deformation there's no deformities right similarly when you go to bone 001 which is the forearm you see the entire forearm is weight painted and that's how we have avoided um, the unnecessary and unnatural pulling of vertices here we just did a little bit of weight painting towards the front and almost up to the elbow we did not paint the where the hand joins with a t-shirt or t-shirt sleeve um, otherwise it would look odd um, here for the sake of this demonstration we we'll, what we'll do here we go to object mode and then here we go to draw mode okay let me just hide the bones for for some time and now animate it see it's waving hand nicely what i will do i will bring back the bones again unhide on the top right it's visible again go to object mode go to object click on the image and go to object data properties and go to object data properties on the right and the first bone is just bone right so here we have the bone which is the bicep bone selected we go to weight paint and paint all these parts adjoining the bicep all the way till the neck and here let's see what happens now go to object mode then go to pose mode and try to move this you see the t-shirt and part of the torso getting deformed because along with the bicep bone we have weight painted all these parts that's why it's pulling its weight and pulling all the vertices which looks very bad so again we go to object mode select the object object data properties bone selected go to weight paint on the top i will put the weight as zero we, you cannot go minus here. This is zero, okay? Then slowly run it around this part 
where we do not want any deformity, where we do not want any weight. This is good. Go to object mode, again click on the bone, and go to pose mode. Okay, there is something happening there. Okay, we should work on that as well. You see, it's kind of moving the way we want it, but there is some element of, you know, uh, deformity, which can be, you know, uh, fine-tuned with variable weights of the white paint uh, between one to zero. Uh, we can uh, test it and try it. But you get the message. Even when we draw 2D cartoons, we can cleanly move the cartoons and its limbs without having to worry about pulling vertices and bad deformities. So let me play the animation one more time. You see it's moving hand kind of possibly meeting. Alright, so this is it for today and if you like this video and if you find this useful, please like my channel. Please comment if you want something specific to discuss. Or and and we learn that particular those topics together. All right. You take care, and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.